Hello, hello, welcome. Welcome to day 77 of our Bible in a Year Challenge. My name is Sandra. I'm going to be your host for today. Welcome. We are committed to reading and fellowshipping with God's Word every single day of this year, 2024. Please kindly go ahead right now. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, and on TikTok at Sandra Boyo Arulepa. Let's get started. Let us say a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, as we gather once again to delve into your word, we come before you with hearts open and spirits receptive. We acknowledge your presence among us and we invite your Holy Spirit to guide us into deeper understanding and wisdom as we study the scriptures. Today, as we embark on our journey through the pages of the Bible, we ask for clarity of mind and purity of heart. Help us to grasp the timeless truths contained within your word and to apply them to our lives with sincerity and diligence. As we meditate on the passages from Numbers, Luke and Psalms, may your word illuminate our path and lead us closer to you. Grant us insight into your divine wisdom and strength to live according to your will. May this time of reading and reflection be a source of inspiration and transformation in our lives. We commit this study session into your hands, trusting that you will speak to us and shape us into vessels of your love and grace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Day 77, March 18, 2024, 365 Days Bible Reading Old Testament, number 7, 1 to 65. New Testament, Luke 2, 21 to 40. Psalms and Proverbs, Psalm 35, verse 1 to 10. Old Testament, NIV version, number 7, 1 to 65. Offerings at the dedication of the tabernacle. When Moses finished setting up the tabernacle, he anointed and consecrated it and all its furnishings. He also anointed and consecrated the altar and all its utensils. Then the leaders of Israel, the heads of families who were the tribal leaders in charge of those who were counted, made offerings. They brought as their gifts before the Lord six covered carts and twelve oxen, an ox from each leader and a card from every two. These they presented before the tabernacle. The Lord said to Moses, Accept this from them, that they may be used in the work at the tent of meeting. Give them to the Levites as each man's work requires. So Moses took the carts and oxen and gave them to the Levites. He gave two carts and four oxen to the Gershonites as their work required, and he gave four carts and eight oxen to the Merorites as their work required. They were all under the direction of Ithama, son of Aaron the priest. But Moses did not give any to the Kohathites because they were to carry on their shoulders the holy things for which they were responsible. When the altar was anointed, the leaders brought their offerings for its dedication and presented them before the altar. For the Lord had said to Moses, Each day, one leader is to bring his offering for the dedication of the altar. The one who brought his offering on the first day was Nashon, king of Ab- son of Abinadab, Aminadab of the tribe of Judah. His offering was one silver plate weighing 130 shekels and one silver sprinkling bowl weighing 70 shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel, each filled with the finest flour mixed with olive oil as a grain offering. One gold dish weighing the 10 shekels filled with incense, one young bull, one ram and one male lamb, a year old for a burnt offering one male goat for a sin offering and two oxen five rams five male goats and five male lambs a year old to be sacrificed as a fellowship offering this was the offering of nashon son of abinadab on the second day nathaniel son of zuar the leader of issachar brought his offering the offering he brought was one silver plate weighing 130 shekels and one silver 
sprinkling bowl weighing 70 shekels both according to the sanctuary shekel each filled with the finest flour mixed with olive oil as a grain offering one gold dish weighing 10 shekels filled with incense one young bull one ram and one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering one male goat for a sin offering and two oxen five rams five male goats and five male lambs a year old to be sacrificed as a fellowship offering this was the offering of Nathanael, son of Zuar, on the third day, Eliab, son of Helon, the leader of the people of Zebulun, brought his offering. His offering was one silver plate weighing 130 shekels and one silver sprinkling bowl weighing 70 shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel. Each filled with the finest flour mixed with olive oil as a grain offering. One gold dish weighing 10 shekels filled with incense, one young bull, one ram and one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering and two oxen, five rams, five male goats and five male lambs a year old to be sacrificed as a fellowship offering. This was the offering of Eliab son of Helon. On the fourth day, Elizo son of Shedewar, the leader of the people of Reuben brought his offering. His offering was one silver plate weighing 130 shekels and one silver sprinkling bowl weighing 70 shekels. Both according to the sanctuary shekel, each filled with the finest flour mixed with olive oil as a grain offering. One gold dish weighing 10 shekels filled with incense, one young bull, one ram and one male lamb, a year old for a burnt offering one male goat for a sin offering and two oxen five rams five male goats and five male lambs a year old to be sacrificed as a fellowship offering this was the offering of elizo son of shador on the fifth day shelomiel son of zurishadai the leader of the people of simeon brought his offering his offering was one silver plate weighing 130 shekels and one silver sprinkling bowl weighing 70 shekels both according to the sanctuary shekel each filled with the finest flour mixed with olive oil as a grain offering one gold dish weighing 10 shekels filled with incense one young bull one ram and one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering one male goat for a sin offering and two oxen five rams five male goats and five male lambs a year old to be sacrificed as a fellowship offering this was the offering of shelomiel son of zurishadai on the sixth day eliasaf son of deo the leader of the people of god brought his offering his offering was one silver plate weighing 130 shekels and one silver sprinkling bowl weighing 70 shekels both according to the sanctuary shekel each filled with the finest flour mixed with olive oil as a grain offering one gold dish weighing 10 shekels filled with incense one young bull one ram and one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering one male goat for a sin offering and two oxen five rams five male goats and five male lambs a year old to be sacrificed as a fellowship offering this was the offering of Eliasaf, son of Deo, on the seventh day. Elishama, son of Amihud, <clears throat> the leader of the people of Ephraim, brought his offering. His offering was one silver plate weighing 130 shekels and one silver sprinkling bowl, sprinkling bowl weighing 70 shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel, each filled with the finest flour mixed with olive oil as a grain offering one gold dish weighing 10 shekels filled with incense one young bull one ram and one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering one male goat for a sin offering and two oxen five rams five male goats and five male lambs a year old to be sacrificed as a fellowship offering this was the offering of elishama son of amihud on the eighth day, Gamaliel, son of Pedazu, the leader of the people of Manasseh, brought his offering. His offering was one silver plate weighing 130 shekels and one silver sprinkling bowl 
weighing 70 shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel, each filled with the finest flour mixed with olive oil as a green offering. One gold dish weighing 10 shekels filled with incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old to be sacrificed as a fellowship offering. This was the offering of Gamaliel, son of Pedazo. On the ninth day, Abidan, son of Gideoni, the leader of the people of Benjamin, brought his offering. His offering was one silver plate weighing 130 shekels and one silver sprinkling bowl weighing 70 shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel, each filled with the finest flour mixed with olive oil as a green offering. One gold dish weighing 10 shekels filled with incense, one young bull, one ram and one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old to be sacrificed as a fellowship offering. This was the offering of Abidan, son of Gideoni. New Testament NIV version Luke 2, 21-40 Jesus presented in the temple. On the eighth day when it was time to circumcise the child, he was named Jesus. The name the angel had given him before he was conceived. When the time came for the purification rites required by the law of Moses, Joseph and Mary took him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every firstborn male is to be consecrated to the Lord and to offer a sacrifice in keeping with what is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of doves or two young pigeons. Now, there was a man in Jerusalem called Simeon, who was righteous and devout. He was waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not die before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Moved by the Spirit, he went into the temple court. When the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what the custom of the law required, Simeon took him in his arm and praised God, saying, Sovereign Lord, as you have promised, you may now dismiss your servant in peace. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of all nations, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of your people Israel. The child's father and mother marveled at what was said about him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, This child is destined to cause the falling and rising of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be spoken against, so that the thoughts of many hearts may, will be revealed, and a sword will pierce your own soul too. There was also a prophet, Anna, the daughter of Penuel, of the tribe of Asher, she was very old. She had lived with her husband seven years after her marriage and then was a widow until she was 84. She never left the temple but worshipped night and day, fasting and praying. Coming up to them, at that very moment, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were looking forward to the redemption of Jerusalem. When Joseph and Mary had done everything required by the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. And the child grew and became strong. He was filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was on him. Hallelujah. Psalms and Proverbs 22, 1 to 10 of David. Contend, Lord, with those who contend with me. Fight against those who fight against me. Take up shield and armor. Arise and come to my aid. Brandish spear and javelin against those who pursue me. Say to them, I am your salvation. May those who seek my life be disgraced and put to shame. May those who plot my ruin be turned back in dismay. May they be like chaff before the wind with the angel of the Lord driving them away. May their path be dark and slippery. 
with the angel of the Lord pursuing them, since they hid their net for me without cause, and without cause dug a pit for me. May ruin overtake them by surprise. May the net they hid entangle them. May they fall into the pit to their ruin. Then my soul will rejoice in the Lord and delight in his salvation. My whole being will exclaim, Who is like you, Lord? Who you rescue the poor from those too strong for them, the poor and needy from those who rob them. Amen. Lessons learned from Numbers 7, 1 to 65, Dedication and Generosity. The offerings brought by the leaders of Israel for the dedication of the temple of the tabernacle illustrate the importance of generosity and devotion in worship, unity in diversity. Despite coming from different tribes, the leaders presented identical offerings showing unity and harmony among God's people in their service and worship. Lessons learned from Luke 2, 21-40 Obedience to God's law, Mary and Joseph faithfully followed Jewish customs, including the circumcision of Jesus and presenting him in the temple, demonstrating their obedience to God's commands. Recognition of Jesus as Messiah Simeon and Anna, inspired by the Holy Spirit, recognized Jesus as the fulfillment of God's promises and prophesied about his significance, highlighting the importance of spiritual discernment and faithfulness to God's word. Lessons learned from Psalm 35 verse 1 to 10. Appeal for Deliverance the psalmist cries out to God for deliverance from enemies and asks for divine intervention in the face of opposition and persecution, trust in God's justice. Despite the challenges and adversaries, the psalmist expresses confidence in God's righteousness and justice, affirming belief in his eventual vindication of the righteous and punishment of the wicked. Faith declarations from Numbers 7, 1-65 I declare that I will offer my resources and talents generously to the Lord's work, just as the leaders of Israel dedicated themselves and their offerings to the service of God's tabernacle. I confess unity and harmony among God's people, acknowledging that despite our differences, we are united in our devotion to Him. Faith declarations from Luke 2, 21-40 I confess obedience to God's commands, following His will faithfully in my life. Like Mary and Joseph, I present myself before the Lord, ready to fulfill His purposes. I declare that I will be sensitive to the leading of the Holy Spirit, recognizing the significance of Jesus in fulfilling God's promises and prophecies. Faith declarations from Psalm 35 verse 1 to 10. I declare my trust in God's deliverance from all adversities and enemies. I confess that even in times of trouble, I will turn to the Lord, knowing that He hears my cries for help. I affirm my confidence in God's righteousness and justice, believing that He will defend the cause of the righteous and bring justice to the wicked. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Please, if you are blessed, by the scriptures and you would like to make jesus your personal lord and savior kindly repeat this prayer after me believing in your heart every single word you say lord jesus i confess my sins and i ask for your forgiveness please come into my heart as my lord and savior take complete control of my life and help me to walk in your footsteps daily by the power of the holy spirit thank you lord for saving me and for answering my prayer in jesus name amen congratulations if you said this prayer we're so excited to welcome you into god's family kindly go ahead right now send us an email let us know you give your heart to christ someone is going to reach out to you and pray with you and help you in your new walk of faith the email address is salvation in christ 101 at gmail.com that is salvation in Christ 101 at gmail.com. God bless you.
please remember to subscribe to my youtube channel follow me on facebook on instagram and on tiktok at sandra boyo Arolewa. thank you so much for being here again today it's always a pleasure having you here i look forward to another amazing day with you tomorrow have a blessed day today i love you bye